National Federation of the Blind Jernigan Institute, a decade of expanding the horizons. It is fair to predict that some of the dreams we have for independence for blind people will be achieved within a reasonably short time. The overall objective of full integration for the blind within society on the basis of equality, with all of the training, all of the public understanding, and all of the resources needed to accomplish this goal, will demand much more effort and much more time. As we explore new methods of understanding, the individual experiences of blind people must be a part of the pattern. We as a society must use the talents each of us possesses. If we do, it will be good for the individuals involved, but it will also serve the society as a whole. Our effort today is to expand knowledge into realms that have been previously unexplored. We will use the tools that are available, those that we have built, and those that we can gather from the efforts of others. But of most importance in our quest for knowledge is the spirit that we bring to the task, a spirit that longs for independence, that seeks to be a part of the community in which we live, that yearns for our talents to be employed in building that community. A decade ago, the National Federation of the Blind expanded its programs and broadened its reach with the opening of a research and training institute, the NFB Jernigan Institute. Today, a number of the dreams that we had at the opening of our institute have been reached, and we have discovered that our imagination has grown, our hope for the future burns stronger, and new dreams have emerged. Today, we pause to consider where we have been and imagine where we might go. Technology Innovation Through our institute, we have led the way in expanding non-visual access to technologies, including advanced access in mainstream technologies, as well as new blindness-specific technologies. Some of these accomplishments include undertaking objective evaluations for technologies especially in the area of non-visual accessibility, providing leadership and advocacy for out-of-the-box accessibility, sparking innovation in tools used to study math and science, creating new technologies to transform the reading of printed documents and books, providing training for technology trainers and web developers, pushing forward the standards for accessibility in digital books across publishing industry, exploring new uses of technology such as home automation and 3D printing, and building previously unimagined non-visual interfaces like those used to empower a blind person to drive a car independently. There he is, Mark Riccobono, the first ever blind driver at Daytona. Dr. Mark Maurer said we would do it a decade ago. Imagine where we might go from here. Educational excellence. For too long, our educational systems have been content with blind students simply getting by. Through our institute, we have raised expectations for the blind and continue to push towards excellence for blind youth. During this past decade, we have inspired and engaged blind youth in the STEM fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, established resources for families of infants and toddlers to give them a strong start to growing up blind and pursuing their dreams, raised the expectations around Braille literacy, and expanded the availability of tools, resources, and instruction in Braille, empowered blind students to be informed and confident self-advocates, built a stronger community of educators prepared to establish educational environments based on high expectations. Imagine how the dreams of these youth are bigger and bolder than they were before. Opportunities abound. Our institute has helped us to create new opportunities, to establish new frontiers, and to open dialogue about the capacity of blind people 
in new places. Some of these include preserving and telling the stories of blind people through our Jacobus Tenbrook Research Library on Blindness, advancing disability rights and legal expertise through our annual Disability Law Symposium, increasing independence through our Free White Cane program, expanding participation in the research community through partnerships and the Journal of Blindness Innovation and Research, helping blind seniors to realize the possibilities, engaging the public in understanding blindness in new ways, serving as a vehicle for collective action through the National Federation of the Blind. Imagine what opportunities await us on the path to our dreams. As you reflect on the first decade of the National Federation of the Blind Jernigan Institute, and as our organization moves towards our 75th anniversary in 2015, imagine what your dreams for the blind are today. Share your dreams with us. Send us video or audio recordings about your dreams, or share them with us in social media by using the hashtag Imagine10 and tagging the National Federation of the Blind on our Facebook page or at NFB underscore voice on Twitter. Together with love, hope, and determination, we transform dreams into reality.